So the first and foremost would be the illusion of savings. So initial attraction of hybrid cloud often masks long-term financial pitfalls. And so in many cases, it's very difficult, uh, if not impossible, to consider some of the costs that they're going to incur when they deploy a hybrid cloud framework. So many organizations under underestimate the complexity of integrating diverse environments. The perceived agility can lead to rush decisions and inflate costs later. So what's occurring is it's very difficult for enterprises out there, unless they're very, very good at FinOps and very good, very good at price estimations to see what the actual cost is going to be. And while you can look at what the public cloud providers are going to charge you in terms of fees to leverage particular services, and you know what your on-prem resources costs, uh, in many cases, the cost comes with the integration of those two resources, the complexity of making these things communicate one to another and also hidden costs like such as egress and ingress fees, which uh, public cloud providers charge. And obviously they're upfront about that, but in many cases, I think enterprises are not very good at understanding, you know, how much that's going to be. And so sending a few gigabytes to and from a public cloud seems like a fairly simplistic thing to do uh, in the operations of a hybrid cloud, but it can be very expensive. So the integration, the complexity, you know, those sorts of things are, things that enterprises are very bad at planning and therefore suddenly it's the costs and it's three times what they thought it was going to be. And now they're in trouble with their hyper cloud deployment.